We all know anything can happen out there. Sometimes we feel lost. We push and we suffer. We keep going. The last time I saw you was at Harkins Theaters, um, which is where everybody will get to see this. So congratulations. I'm very excited to have a movie in theaters that I know is going to really move audiences to tears and, yep. you know, uh, the joy and, uh, you know, the inspiration that people are finding in the movie is really nice. This race doesn't define you. I raced for 19 years. This is my last chance to win. You are clearly in good shape. We're very aware of your workout routines. You've played a Navy SEAL before, so clearly you can handle this. Mm -hmm. But what is it like to play an adventure racer? What kind of athleticism does that require? Oh, it's tough. It's like they are... <laughs> They're a different breed. They, they're really, the amount of pain and then suffering that they can endure, mm -hmm. it's remarkable. It's like, you know, you have, it, it's just a different height on the scale. You know, I, I've, I've never seen anything like it. And I think, you know, I, I think now that I, I recall when I tore my meniscus on the first day, I mean, everybody <laughs> else was like, and the, the guy that I play in the movie, Michael was like, <laughs> All right, now you're in a little pain. Now we can see if you can really suffer. You know, it's one thing to throw some dirt on your face and have somebody right. spritz you and make it look like you're sweating, but now let's see how, how deep you can dig. Well, he was so impressed when I asked him if you actually, if he thought genuinely you actually could handle this race. Uh -huh. He said you could. Well, I th it would definitely be have, have to be something that you would work yourself up to. But I think I could, but I don't think I would want to. <laughs> no, I want to. I mean, to. to put yourself through that, it's, uh, you know, it, I, my wife would be like, why are you doing this? And <laughs> what are you trying to prove? Humor me for a second. If you did do the race and could cast, maybe name two of your famous celebrity actor friends or actress friends, mm -hmm. who's in the best shape who could hang with you on this race? Ooh, oh, God, you're going to get me in trouble here. Because Just a couple. There's so many. Well... I would have, look, I was just with Mario Lopez today. Um, he does many things in entertainment, but he's also a very good actor. I would take Mario because we'd have a lot of laughs. And who else? Um, probably Amy Adams. Oh. But there's so many, and I, I'm going to get in trouble. All right. Uh, and then Will Farrell. We'll have some <laughs> just laughs. for comic relief. Then have some laughs along the way. <laughs> Will's a beast. Come on, he don't wouldn't sleep. be able to climb some of that stuff. You oh, think? don't sleep on Will. All right. That, well, now he's going to go and do the sequel just to prove <laughs> you wrong. Hey, hey. Extra meatballs for you, my friend. I, the dog. You know, I asked Michael, was he more nervous to find out who they were casting as basically him or the dog? He mm -hmm. said, absolutely the dog. He yeah. was convinced they couldn't find a dog that was so perfect, and this one is. Yeah, you guys incredible. Did you really try to get him? To keep them? Oh, 100%. Yeah. No, I, listen, my kids were like, Dad, do not come home without the dog. Yeah. And so I tried, but I completely understood. I mean, look, Michael, I mean, the, his decision to save all, Arthur altered the rest of his life. Um, and so I, I, I could completely understand what she said. It's a non starter. Yeah. And I said, not even for such and such amount? Right. Nothing, nothing was going to change her mind. I did mention Wahlberger's stock, though, and she said you never threw that out there. That maybe well, that could have done. Well, for you guys, <laughs> you would have taken it for sure. I mean, I, I was definitely learned that, that the key to his heart was through his stomach. <laughs> Meatball? Look, somebody likes my meatballs. It's meatballs for Arthur in the movie, um, and you can't answer Wahlberger's. What is it for you? Uh, well, for me and for him, it was filet. I would save. He lived right next door to me, so I would have him come over in the morning. He would outrun her over to the house, and he'd devour a couple of filets before she even got there. Were you more nervous when you found out they were going to do a film? Were you more nervous about who they would cast as you, basically, or who they would cast as Arthur? As Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because the thing is, like, like Arthur was so special for us. So, but then I saw this first pictures of, of Yukai that's play Arthur and all that. I thought it was like, like Arthur just takes another photo or something. And, but then I felt like, wow, this is going to be perfect. Simon, how often was he on set? <laughs> he was there the whole time. Yeah, and mostly in a beautiful, loving way. Well, it was really important actually because we wanted we wanted it to feel truthful and authentic, and, and we had the guy who it happened to, so why would you not use Michael as a resource? He was there early on, well before we started shooting, helping our costume department, helping the actors train, helping me to understand the ins and outs of this really complicated, kind of crazy race. Um, 
And I've got to tell you, we're still talking, so uh, it worked out. Hi, Leo, you're up. Let's go. You know, if, if there's an actor who's in good shape, I mean, Mark Wahlberg is known, you know, he gets up at, what, 2 a.m. to go work out, and we're very aware of, of of what he does to get in shape. Could he actually do this race, in your opinion? 100%. Really? Yes. Who would you pair him with? Any other actors you might pair him with? I don't know about the other actors, but in this movie, Simu was great, Ali was great, Natalie was great. I think the one that did the most, like, developed the skills in during the movie was Natalie, actually. She she became really, really good, and, and she was very tough. Mo so much tougher than you think she is. Like, she did all the stunts and stuff like that. So, and also Mark, like, and I think, like, first day, he injured his knee, and we did, we did the wire thing, and he jammed his fingers, like, and he, he never complained. He just pushed through. And I, I think thanks to that, we're sitting here today. You know, the, the story goes through some very, very tough, emotional, very difficult scenes to watch. And, um, you know, we didn't want to shy away from that. And uh, in the end, I think the relationship between those two characters is, is something very, very special. And I would, would always want to protect that. Oh, beyond. And I know they're about to wrap me quickly. I saw you at the theater yesterday. You watched it with your kids and your wife. I would imagine it's the first time that they saw. How were they not emotional? I'm sure that they lost it. And yeah. you? Yes. I, you know, we, this was the first time for the kids. I, I've seen different versions, of course, but this was the first time for the kids. Uh, and the reaction they show, and even I had, you know, it's this, this movie is so strong. It's so strong. And, and, and the reaction from the kids. But at the same time, it was they, they really love it. And because it's so so true to the the real thing, and also Yukai is looking like Arthur, so that's been like, you know, it's 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 hard to explain, but it's it's uh, they are so proud. Guess what? I'm not a dog person. Mm. <laughs>